Today for our math lesson, we're going to be learning about how to use the strategy that's called Touch Math. This is a great strategy that's used with students of every ability level. As you can see here on the right hand side, this is a poster of the Touch Math points. Touch Math goes from number one through number nine. Now, these might seem a bit confusing right now, but hopefully after this video and after part two, these dots will make more sense. Touch Math is a program created by a company that's called Touch Math. It's a great way for students to use different strategies to help them add and subtract. There's also a portion that will help them multiply and divide, but this year we will be focusing only on addition and subtraction. Let's take a look at how we use this program. The first question that we often ask ourselves is why are we using Touch Math this year? What are the benefits and what makes it so special? Let's take a look at this first problem we have here, two plus five. Now for us adults, this is a pretty simple equation. You probably know it off the top of your head, but think about your young child. Maybe they're a first grader or a second grader. Some of them might know this already. They might have it memorized, but some of them might not, and that's okay. One strategy that students might do is they might want to draw a picture. Maybe they put two circles and five circles. After they do this, they add them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that is a great strategy. These two numbers, two and five, are fairly small. But this year, think about what's going to happen when we get into a larger equation like this, 17 plus nine. Now imagine your child drawing 17 circles and nine circles, then counting every one of them and not losing track while counting accurately. It seems a little bit daunting. It also is very time consuming. Once we get into these larger numbers, it's going to be quite a task for every child to draw circles every single time. So touch math will help us eliminate the need to draw circles for every single equation. Smaller numbers are okay, but we are going to be diving into some larger numbers. Another strategy that students often do is they use their fingers. It is absolutely okay for your student to use their fingers. Let's look at the first problem. Two plus five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We still got seven. That was easy and quick. But once again, What's going to happen when we get to 17 plus nine? They're not going to be able to put out 17 fingers and nine fingers. It's just not going to happen. So touch math is a strategy that we can use not only for small equations like two plus five, but we can also transition it to larger equations so that we do not need to draw any pictures and we will not need to add on our fingers. Go ahead and get started with our touch points. Now, in today's video, we're going to be learning numbers zero through number five. Please watch the next video to help you with numbers six through nine. The trick to learning our touch points and our touch math is that each number gets the same touch points as its number. For instance, zero gets no touch points because it's zero. Number one gets one touch point. Number two gets two touch points and so on. One thing that's very important is that every time we make our numbers, the touch points must go in the same spot and they go in the same order. Let's start down here with zero. Zero does not get any touch points, so it just gets to stay plain. Number one gets one touch point, 
and it goes right at the top of number one. A nice circle right up here. Next, we have number two. Two gets two touch points. One, two. The one at the top always comes first. One, two. See how they need to be in order? We don't go from the bottom to the top. We go top, bottom. One, two. Next is number three. Three is very easy to remember. One, two, three. Just right on those three points. We start at the top and make our way down. Most of the numbers, we will always start at the top and go down. Just like the two, we went top, bottom. Number three, top, middle, bottom. Number four is one that the students can remember where the dots go, but they do not put them in the correct order. This one is very tricky for some reason. Number four goes like this. One, two, three, four. I always remember number four. I always say to the students, we go up, down, up, down. And this often will help them remember. One, two, three, four. Make sure that you practice that number four with your students. It's very important that we do them in the correct order. And last for today is number five. Number five is one of my personal favorite numbers for touch points because number five has a belly button. Here we go, let's take a look. We start up here, one, two, three, here comes the belly button, four, five. Five is the only number with a belly button. So this one students usually like to do. One, two, three, four, five. Now, once we have mastered where the touch points go, the next step is to use some equations with these touch points. Let's take a look at a few addition equations first. I'm going to have to cover up my up, down, up, down. Our first equation is five plus four. Now some teachers might do this differently, but here is the way that I ask my students to do this. We look at both of the numbers and we ask ourselves, which number is larger, five, or four. Five is larger, so we do not need to put touch points on number five. Let's put them on number four. One, two, three, four. Now, in order to add this, we're going to say the big number, then keep adding on with the small number. Let me show you. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I tapped my pencil on the four touch points, and since we're adding, I counted up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's why we don't need to necessarily do the big number, because we can just say it and count on. Let's look at another example. Here's the example, three plus nine. I know that nine is larger, so I don't need to draw any touch points on nine, but let's draw them on three. One, two, three. Just like last time, I'm going to say the big number and count the small number. Nine, 10, 11, 12. And that's it. I didn't have to draw circles. I didn't have to use my fingers. All I need to do is if I know where those touch points are, I just count on. Here's an interesting problem. Four plus four. This is a double. Now, neither of these are bigger than the other. So you can pick if you want to draw on the first four or the second four. 
I'm going to draw my touch points on the second floor. So four, one, two, three, four. Here we go. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's all I need to do. And the last example addition problem today is 16 plus five. Now this is one of those larger equations like we talked about at the beginning. 16 is obviously bigger than five. So let's put our touch points on five. Don't forget the belly button. And I'm going to keep counting on 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And that's all I need to do. We talked about how, not just with addition, but we can also use touch math for subtraction. So let's look at a few examples of that. I have 10 minus four. I don't put any touch points on the larger number. I only need to put them on the smaller number. Now in this case, since it's subtraction, I need to make sure that I'm counting down. So I go 10, nine, eight, seven, six. I do the same thing, just instead of counting up to get a larger number, like when I add, I'm going to count backwards and count down. Let's look at one last example of our subtraction touch points. 14 is my bigger number, so I only need to put my touch points on my five. Let's practice counting down. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. I tap my pencil on every touch point in order to get my answer. Now, eventually, your child is not going to need to draw the touch points. Eventually, they're going to get to the point where they know where the touch points are, and they can simply go like this, 8, 9, 10, 11. And they just can tap it with their pencil as they go. It becomes a lot quicker. But until we get to that point, it's probably a good idea to have your child draw the touch points to help them. I could have 19 minus 5. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Once I know where those touch points are, I can very quickly add and subtract using them. Please make sure at home that you're practicing where the touch points go with your child and also practicing addition and subtraction equations. Make sure to check back for part number two where we will go over the numbers six through nine.